Hello, this is James from xrobots.co.uk. This is the next part of my experimental boat build. So what I've got on the floor here is a staple gun and staples and some fabric scissors and also a massive piece of fleece fabric. So this is um, a metre and a half wide and it's six metres long. So this is basically typical fleece fabric that um, fleeces are made of and blankets and so on. The basic plan is to pin that all over the um, frame for the boat and then we're going to bosch fiberglass all over it and that's going to form the main shell of the boat. So to recap here is the frame of the boat. This is all made out of expanded polystyrene insulation board and then basically I've covered all these struts in fiberglass. This is woven roving which was tied on with string and then it's all been um, fiberglass with polyester resin which is marine grade polyester resin to make a rigid frame. There's still parts of this that are still um, polystyrene that need to be covered. Um, but basically we're going to put the skin on the outside made of the fleece and then we'll come back and we'll deal with the inside. So we're almost halfway there, I've got most of the fabric pinned on, it's looking quite boat shape, including this piece which I specifically like. Um, I've just put a few staples in all the way around, I need to pull this tight on the other side and um, trim the excess off. I'll eventually use the offcuts to cover the insides so that it's a uniform colour and texture. So I just need to carry on, trim all that fabric and do the other side. So it's all trimmed and attached on this side. You can see it's quite tight all over, which is good. Not sure if it's gonna stretch once I make it wet, but my thoughts are for the polyester resin is to obviously go over the beams first, then start with a crisscross pattern of polyester resin, um, and then fill in the gaps with uh, smaller and smaller crisscrosses when I come to that stage, so that basically the fabric supports itself. If I were to soak it with polyester resin, um, then basically it would all sag so to keep the shape, that's the plan. At the moment it's looking pretty good, I just need to do the other half. So there's a bit of a seam right along the uh, keel here which is basically I couldn't get fabric wide enough so there's a join. It's held pretty well, I'm just going to go and put a few more staples in but basically we've got the uh, shape of a boat. So the next stage is to put fiberglass all over that as I described before. So I did about an hour on the boat yesterday um, I've put some polyester resin on this. I didn't bother filming it because it was quite hard to, uh, well, handle this much polyester resin um, in, uh, you know, a one-piece protective suit with a respirator and gloves on and everything and try and handle the camera, so I haven't filmed it. But basically, I've gone and soaked the fleece in polyester resin all the way around on the frame, all the way around the boat, and I've also put these um, lines on in the fleece, which is polyester resin, to basically make ribs so that obviously if I'd saturated the whole thing the weight of it would have made it sag so the idea was to have these supporting ribs that go rigid first and then I'll block in the gaps. So um, 
it's worked quite well. It's gone quite rigid where I've um, completely covered sections of it. It's probably going to need going um, from the inside as well. So it hasn't soaked through all the way. The inside, some of it's hard, some of it's a bit like fabric. Um, so far I've used for the boat in one five kilogram container, which is for the frame as well. And I'm onto the second one, which I think I've used about a kilogram from. So I'm sort of uh, six, six and a bit kilograms maybe for the whole thing so far. But this is working quite well. You can feel this has gone totally rigid where I've um, saturated the fleece in resin as you'd expect. So basically I um, just need to carry on blocking it in. And after that we're going to need to reinforce the inside, which I'll just do with normal mat. So I'm not going to film myself doing it, but the next bit of film will hopefully be the entire shell blocked in with resin. So I've now totally saturated the fleece in um, polyester resin. It took about um, another 10 kilograms. So the fleece just soaks it up. But now that is totally rigid all over. So um, you could probably use that as a boat now. It's pretty rigid. There's still some I haven't covered, including this, and I haven't covered the internal supports yet. But um, the rest of this is totally rigid. So it would probably float, although it needs some reinforcement. There's still a bit of flex in there, ever so slightly. So I'm just gonna be reinforcing the inside with a bit of chop-stranded mat, um, and also covering all the internal supports. Um, these are still bare polystyrene, so that'll obviously be a bit of a seat where I can sit in, and I'll be covering that, probably putting some soft foam over the two beams across the middle so that it's nice to sit on. And I still need to cover the very back as well. It's got woven rovings on the outside and nothing on the inside, so I'll just be covering that with a bit of fiberglass and a bit more fleece. So I've got another uh, 15 kilograms of resin on order, which I won't need, hopefully. I think the boat weighs in excess of 20 kilograms, probably 25 kilograms at the moment. With the reinforcement, that's gonna go up to 30, but I think that's probably reasonable for a boat of this size. So um, onward and upward with reinforcing the inside. Right, here we go. So it's now several days later. I've reinforced the inside of the boat with fiberglass and it's extremely rigid. Um, it's done 30 kilograms of resin altogether. Those are the empty containers. Um, I've also covered all these bits with fiberglass. Um, there's quite a lot of spiky bits that I need to go and sand off. I've got one of these. Uh, which is a flapper disc you put in a drill, so I need to go around and sand all the spiky bits off. There's a couple of areas that I missed, including this, and I really need to look right down there, and also right up there, but pretty much it's finished. Okay, so all my fiberglass has been wet through and it's um, cured a couple of days ago now. I've also foamed out some of these pieces, so that's all foam. Um, across the beams and these are foam as well and a little bit of the front and some uh, carry points there so we can pick it up so it's nice and comfortable and also two at the back. So I'm going to get this out of the shed now so I can take some better film of it and I'm also going to jump all over it to show how strong it is. <laughs> 